Avadil Kumar and here is a very interesting question to review vectors. The question here is find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular from Q minus 1, 2, 3 to the line x 2 minus t, y 3 plus t and z equals to minus 2t. Now foot of the perpendicular really means that let us say we have a line kind of like this, okay, and some external point Q, uh, then that is the perpendicular from Q, right? So this is, let's say, the point Q. So perpendicular is here. We want to find this point P on the given line, and that is called the foot of the perpendicular, right? So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, so what we are given here is, we need to find foot of the perpendicular from point Q to the given line, and the equation of the line is x equals to 2 minus t, y equals to 3 plus t, and z equals to minus 2t. So in parametric form, that is the equation. So so a point P in general could be written in this form, right? So that could be the coordinates for point P. And we are given the point Q as minus 1, 2, 3. Now, we know the dot product of direction of this line. What is the direction of this line? Direction for this line is, is minus 1, 1, and minus 2. Right? So that becomes the direction of this line, minus 1, 1, and minus 2. Now this direction of this line, m, dot qp, or we could write pq, equals to 0. So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. Right. So that's the concept. Okay, so, so that's how we are going to solve it. Now, <clears throat> I mean, this equation, you could write either way, dot product, we could write it, this is m dot pq also, same thing, right, equals to zero. I uh, purposely written pq, since I'm going to, okay, uh, actually I'll do uh, this point, which is a general point p, so we'll do use this one, p minus q, so I'll use this one actually, okay, so let's write down this dot product. M for us is M for us is written here minus we can read from here also minus one so let's do so we have M dot QP which we are going to use that should be equal to zero M is minus one one and minus two dot QP from Q to P that means P coordinate minus the Q coordinate right so we have 2 minus t minus 1 which is plus 1 3 plus t minus 1 and then we have minus 2t and z coordinate is 3 for us right 3 okay z is minus 3 right so that's what we get so let's simplify this a bit and that should be equal to 0 right so we have minus 1, 1, minus 2, dot. 2 plus 1 is 3, so we can write this as 3 minus t. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we can write 2 plus t. And uh, minus 2, t minus 3, okay. This is equal to 0. Let's apply the dot product. So minus 3 plus t. 1 times this will give us 2 plus t minus 2 times we'll change the signs 4t and minus minus becomes plus 6 equals to 0 right let's combine the minus 3 plus 2 that is minus 1 and 6 will give us 5 so we have 5 here okay and as far as t is concerned 1 2 and 4 6 so 6 6 t right so that we is equal to zero so this is what we have at present so minus 2t let me check minus 2t minus 3 3 plus t minus 2 so we did make a mistake this was 3 plus 2 minus 2t 
2 not 1 right so so this was minus 2 yeah okay so we have 3 minus 2 as as 1 so I'm making this correction here so this is this is 1 for us okay and when you multiply with 1 you get 1 plus t not 2 okay so this is 1 plus t and when you combine the numbers it is 6 plus 1 7 minus 4 as minus 3 as 4 so you get 4 plus 6 t so that is the correction right so kind of that is the correction so I wrote by mistake 1 it is actually minus 2 so from here we can get what 6 t is we get 6 t equals to minus 4 or we get t equals to minus 4 over 6 which is minus 2 over 3 right so that is the value of t so the foot of the perpendicular we can now get by placing t as minus 2 over 3 in our equation right so we'll substitute this in the equation and get the answer okay so what we have here is x equals to 2 minus t right so and we know t is minus 2 over 3 for us so instead of t i'll write minus 2 over 3 so that makes it plus 2 over 3 y value will be equals to 3 plus t so 3 plus which is minus 2 over 3 okay and the z value will be minus 2 times t which is minus 2 over 3 right so that gives us the answer so 3 times 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 we get 8 over 3 here 3 times 3 is 9 9 minus 2 is 7 that becomes plus 2 times 2 is 4 4 over 3 and so our answer is that the foot of the perpendicular is the coordinates of that point is are 8 3 7 over 3 and 4 over 3 right so that is how you can find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular so the idea is to write down the general point on this line and then find qp dot product should be zero with the direction of the line so that gives us the value of the parameter t once we know that we know exactly which point we are talking about i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best